Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco here, and in today's video, I'm doing a cryptocurrency weekly market review. So in today's video, guys, I'll do my usual Bitcoin technical analysis. I'll talk about some of the trades I took, some of the trades I'll be looking to take. Also, guys, to start off the in that, uh, this review, I'll talk about some of the key news that's come out in this week. Uh, I'll talk about how I analyze Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market. I'll talk about the Bitcoin dominance, the altcoin market. And, and kind of cryptocurrency market cycle how the money flows from Bitcoin to altcoins uh, it's gonna be a long video guys I mean I'm, I probably won't get as many views for this uh, for this video because it's gonna be for my hardcore fans that enjoy my analysis will probably watch it it's going to be about 20 minutes half in our video guys also um, on this group I created a poll for how many uh, what coins people wanted me to look at so it's a long list people have given me um, so it's only it's only been up for five hours uh, it's a long list people have given me so I'll try to go through them all I might have to rush through some of the smaller coins because it will take me forever if I go through them all in detail but I will spend some time on Bitcoin and some of the bigger old, uh, bigger coins and then I'll go through the list I'll try to timestamp in the uh, link uh, in the comment section below or in the description below if you're interested guys so I think I'll I'll do this cryptocurrency market analysis probably once a week now or maybe I'll go live and do it live and um, I'm, I'm gonna see how I can do that as well so it's a bit more interactive rather than me recording a video and then releasing it I'll, I'll do a live one where it's a uh, way way more interactive uh, so just a quick heads up guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys please subscribe to my channel I'll do content on technical analysis trading this is my strategy you can go watch this video people have really enjoyed my scalping strategy video and also guys I'll be doing a lot more of these longer videos and also I'll do for the general public as well like the Ripple Tron videos where you know for the general public how high can Litecoin go those general videos that people like to watch and I'll, I'll also do these longer longer videos as well so let's have a look at the price guys and uh, if you are trying to analyze something you always need to start on a higher time frame the monthly the weekly the daily so guys the the monthly time frame we can see Bitcoin is seen a lot of volume guys we've not seen this volume for a while uh, some really positive price action guys but we've seen four green candles guys even at the peak when Bitcoin was going up we only saw three and then a red candle and a five in in March so you know it's time for consolidation is are we gonna see a consolidation we, we're probably seeing some now so that is one thing to keep in mind in the weekly time frame guys we've again just seen a lot of green candles I'm gonna clear the chart up for you guys so it's a very clear because you don't need Fibonacci when you're trading all you need to do is price action uh, this is what I do I'll talk about some of the analysis for 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 Bitcoin but usually you just can do it off of um, of just of price action and moving average and maybe RSI you don't need all this Fibonacci Elliott waves uh, that I use I use it for confluence so guys um, I again I, I'll talk about when I uh, bought my Bitcoin I, I missed this crazy pump that happened from 3000 I didn't think it would break I was expecting a pullback but I did get in here uh, when the Binance hack news came out I knew it was gonna bounce and then yeah it was a really good entry but I sold I think around 6000 and I sold the rest of them here I didn't think it would continue going up I don't think anyone can predict so now where we are with Bitcoin Bitcoin is pulling back I'm expecting this to be a support the 7100 range so let's see if Bitcoin can hold this level and push higher that is my target I've already kind of scaled into Bitcoin guys because I do think Bitcoin will have another leg up uh, before altcoins before the potential altcoin season start so that's just a quick update on Bitcoin I'll go back and talk about Bitcoin in detail on a smaller time frame but if I look at some of the news that's happened this week and um, there are some lots of news about different projects Binance there's been news about Matic and Matic or th that coins had a lot of pump Binance is always in the news uh, there's an issue with the uh, Bitcoin cash uh, ABC there was a bug I mean I'm not a fan of that coin fundamentally anyway but the two main news that are still um, so another news that I'd like to mention is XRP uh, adding Coinbase for New York residents and a lot of Wall Street are looking to invest in in Bitcoin so I, I don't think the pullback will get a 
bigger as as big a pullback as I'd like because a bigger pullback would allow me to buy more Bitcoin. I'm still not into a long term position. I'm a better scalper. You can see I'm a beast of a scalper. I'm trying to improve my um, analysis as well. So guys, that is what I'm looking at for the news, guys. Um, the two main news I'd like to mention is the Tether FUD news and the Binance hack news. And even with those news, Bitcoin has rallied. So when Bitcoin gives the middle finger to such bad negative news, you can see why Bitcoin is so bullish and why people are still buying Bitcoin. And I do think a lot of more money is waiting on the sidelines to get into Bitcoin and people have missed the rally. Like I missed it here. Luckily, I got some there but still i'd like to buy some more before i think the bitcoin run will carry on um so two things i always look at is the bitcoin dominance guys so you can see the bitcoin dominance has been going up this year and uh, maybe i mean elliot wave time it could be a five waves up but you can see that it's been rallying up and uh, you can see if you draw trend lines here guys you can see that um when that broke uh, bitcoin rallied really really well and that would have been a good entry to see that bitcoin was going up now you've, you've seen the altcoin rally i think altcoin might rally a bit further but i do think bitcoin will see further positive action so it could be a bit of a pullback and then bitcoin rallies again then we start the old coin again that's just my thoughts guys i don't know if it will happen or not i'm already in some old coins you can uh, go check in this group you know the some of the coins i mean binance i'm in binance heavily um chain link of i think i made a chain link video uh, detailing my thoughts on chain link uh, ages ago probably months ago you can see it three months ago and it's a great uh, hyped coin as well and the technicals look really really well on on chain link and uh, i'll talk about chain link in a bit because that's one of the coins people want me to look at so guys um so that's one thing to look at also the altcoin cap so how the altcoin market is doing you can see altcoin is going up and um i think it might pull back a bit further maybe to this level so i'm not taking huge position on altcoins yet but if it's a project that you really like i'm not a fundamentally i'm not the best guy to talk to about cryptocurrency but there are some guys in the group that know uh, quite knowledgeable about the fundamentals so if there's a coin that you like like poly theta whichever coin that you like you could start taking some uh, positions in them if, if the chart looks good again this is not financial advice guys i'm just sharing with you my thoughts on what i how i how, how i would trade and i'm sharing with you my experience so that's the new section and the whole cryptocurrency market overview i wanted to give you now let's get into the chart guys so bitcoin i uh, as expected you know it looks like a bit of a distribution and then boom it went down um i didn't take it short i'm not looking to short bitcoin because when it's such an uptrend guys when you can see in a coin is such an uptrend it's not the best time to to short the coin so that's just my two cents i'm not looking to short it and as you can see last time usually you know you have to two wave correction last few times it dropped then boom it rallied it dropped and then boom it rallied it didn't really give us that that time to kind of uh, accumulate so maybe we can we've had this and then we have a shallow pullback and then we rally again that could be a possibility but we'll have to see so the two from the shorter time shorter time frame uh, the main thing i'm looking at is this level the 1000 level if this level holds and bitcoin rallies my next target would be the nine and a half thousands maybe obviously the previous highs will be a key target level but it, that that is the next fibonacci level that we should be looking at if bitcoin can break above but this will be pretty resistance you know previous it's a strong resistance it failed to get over there but if we can rally above that could be a potential target um, and it could even spike above to the 10k would be a very big psychological level as well so that's just my quick analysis on bitcoin does do keep bitcoin in mind because if bitcoin rallies uh, old coins in the bitcoin value will go down the dollar value might be okay but the bitcoin value might go down so let's start with the list um so first coin on the list uh, this is the list we're going to go through uh, the first coin on the list is litecoin so let's have a look at Litecoin. I'm just jotting down the times I'm doing this analysis as well. So Litecoin, guys, um, we've seen what happened with Litecoin. L Litecoin has been the main uh, indicator. So Litecoin broke out first, then Bitcoin followed. So Litecoin is a key one that we do need to look at, guys. And if you see what Litecoin did, right? Litecoin hit 100. It fell. 
I sold everything at 100. You know, Litecoin's been my best trade. I keep going on about Litecoin, Litecoin. I shared it in my group. If you haven't joined the group, it's completely free. You can join. Uh, I'll keep talking about Litecoin, guys, but Litecoin has been my best trade. Uh, I didn't buy any more here. This would have been a good zone. I, I had it marked up, uh, but I, I, I wasn't able to get in. So, guys, if you look at Litecoin, guys, it bounced over the 382 and then it tried to make another high. It failed and is pulling back. I'm not sure if it's a fifth wave or if it's like an ABC kind of irregular kind of corrective. I'm not sure. But if it is an ABC, it could be pulling back further. So I'm not looking to buy Litecoin. Um, my focus is on Ethereum and Bitcoin. But if we think Bitcoin do Bitcoin broke out like Litecoin, so could Bitcoin be doing this sort of a correction and trying to reach previous highs and then pull back? That is a strong possibility. So you can see Bitcoin had this leg down and it could maybe go up to there, the 8,000, 9,000 level and then pull back. If it's if Litecoin, if it follows similar path to Litecoin, that could be a possibility. But that is my thoughts on Litecoin, guys. I mean, it's at some support. You can see the moving average support. So if you are not a detailed, I mean, you, I'm not analyzing the candlesticks as much because uh, it will take forever to analyze. But if you, for simple terms, guys, you see, you know, the spikes, the candlestick body, you know, that is a bullish candle. That is a spike above, you know, I mean, it's not a doji, but it's not the best candle. You can see it tried to move up. It got pushed back down. And this is like a reverse bearish reversal, we can see. But also look at the, the moving averages. So if it stays above the moving average, it's good. When it broke down, you could have sold and um, it would have been some decent shorting opportunities there. So keep that in mind for Bitcoin as well. See, last time the moving average caught up and it moved back. So maybe it will move sideways, let the moving average catch up and then move up. So that's just a quick analysis on Litecoin, guys. Again, if you are in Litecoin, as if you, if you're in, these are all trading advices I'm explaining to you the charts. I, do, I have invested in coins like BNB um, and other coin poly again I'm not trying to show you show you this coins asking you to buy this because I'm, I'm a lot down on poly but you know, it's a coin that I liked fundamentally and chain link is a coin that I like but anyways I'm, this is about purely about technicals and trading so that is what I'm looking at like coin guys see how it reacts in the moving averages there's potentially some support around there so that's my analysis on like coin the next one is a BNB so let's have a look at BNB guys BNB has been on fire guys let me find so some of these coins the coins that you can see are on my watch list are the coins that I'm trading all the time and I've traded BNB a lot today uh, you can see the post that I've made in the group so about 10 hours ago uh, I said I'm in BNB and BAT at the moment and um, you can see I posted this about five hours after and I was up over five percent I think I've done even better on BNB now again I don't want this my trading group to be a a signals group I want to teach and educate people uh, there are there are a lot of scammers in the group so do please do be aware I mean I'm thinking about making it private or you know charging people a dollar or five or ten dollars something really cheap to get in because you know I'm getting a lot of scammers in there's someone who's messaging me saying he got scammed for not 0.25 F so again I'm not asking you for any money if I do it's gonna be you know crypto rock or for uh, officially through uh, for just for an entry I'm not gonna charge crazy amounts for groups where people charge hundred hundreds of thousands of pounds and um, if people are trying asking for money please do not give them money they're trying to scam you um, and it's, uh, that's what's kind of been disappointed I, I've been spending a lot of time trying to block posts which I shouldn't really be doing maybe I need to hire someone to kind of manage and moderate the group but yeah it's just been quite disappointing anyway anyways guys so Binance guys Binance has been the main bull guys if you go on to the monthly time frame it's just a para parabolic move uh, we saw the correction pull back to this moving average boom another move up you can see when I did a lot big investment in there I bought a lot of that and then I sold most of it as it was going up but I still hold some and now even if it goes down I'm gonna hold some so it's pulled back a lot guys uh, as we can see almost near the 618 level and the 200 moving average and then now we're seeing this move up and I've been trading it on the 15 minute and 5 minute I mean it's similar to the strategy that I've made this video about you can go watch this, this um, strategy video similar strategy to that but I can kind of see it and, and kind of do it in without using all these indicators and how I've explained it I could just kind of trade it or uh, using my kind of eyes and experience I took a few different trades on that. I sold, I got out, and then I got in again. 
and it's been a very very profitable trading i think it might be pulling back a bit more now because hourly you can see it's at very very high level rsi rsi is one of the indicators i do use one thing that you can do here is kind of draw this line and then that's a bit annoying and draw sort of this line these lines do work i mean you can see when that broke out it's it's some price action so yeah binance is doing really really well it's at 618 level guys that's why i uh, i exited some here i exited some of the moving average and it's at the 618 level i mean even if you do not use fibonacci you can see there's lots of resistance lots of price action there so i mean it could pull back a bit further and it could give you an entry but when something breaks out what i do like about binance is guys the dollar uh, value of it so the the chart against the binance tether is very 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 bullish i think it's it's hit all-time highs and that is one of my strategies if you have been following me that's exactly how i traded holo chain and chain link to make really good money start of the year and few people took that trades and thanked me uh, one of the mentees one of the guys i teach trading to he he bought it using the exact same strategy and he made a lot of money on hot and he thanked me and he's still my student and we do weekly uh, calls on how his trading is going and it's good to see he's doing well and he he also messaged me about this trade when he broke out i think he got in here and he and he made a 10 percent profit so that was really good to see and when he told me i bought some more so the dollar charts you need to when you're buying a coin you need to look at it against the dollar and also against and um, the the bit, bit bitcoin chart so this is against tether or dollar is looking very bullish the next range would be i mean the 30 dollar is a, a mental resistance as well so i think th it, it could be that could that will be the next target if you are in binance and trading it against the dollar so binance is still looking good guys i mean i'm invested i'm scalping it which is what i'm really good at doing that is my passion i love scalping in and out five ten minutes trades i'm improving my swing trading and investing strategies as well and i am invested in this coin you can find out more about my thoughts on i think i made this video again it's a bit flashy to get some views i'm being completely transparent because some of the content that i provide i'm not as flashy and there's people that are just again i'm not bad mouthing anyone that do not know as much and not got not got as much experience mm -hmm. they're you know charging people a lot, lot of money and uh, you know scamming people and making you know making very flashy and getting a lot more views anyways guys that's my thoughts on binance guys the next coin is let's have a look what the next coin is on the list again if you want to we want to uh, give me an option of looking at your coins you can join the group and i'll put up another poll for next week video you can uh, message in the in the group and i'll do uh, um you can i'll make another post where you can uh, make suggestions of which coin you want me to look at so the next coin i'm going to look at is xrp so xrp guys let's have a look at what xrp is doing i've been a bit disappointed with xrp guys that it it, it had that big bullish move it couldn't stay above this range which i was hoping that it would hold above i would have been really happy and would have bought some more it's coming back to this zone now again you don't need fibonacci i use fibonacci as a confluence you can see the main thing you can just analyze price action where price action is coming where price action is going look at how rsi is doing you can see rsi is topping pulling back to this zone. i was hoping it would hold at this zone it didn't now it's pulling back uh, it's at the what, so I think so the daily moving average yeah it said the daily moving average now let's see if it can hold here guys it needs to hold this level if it goes below this level guys um, I won't be happy with with XRP but that's just my thoughts guys so if it, this could be a potential zone to buy if you see bullish price action on XRP if you see a bullish candle with high volume if you see a volume spike uh, and you see good positive price action this could be a nice little trade for xrp do keep an eye out for xrp and obviously there's always xrp is a very very bullish pricey i mean a uh, hype coin and it can jump and it can run quite fast so that's the quick update on xrp i'm trying to push through these coins now the next coin i'm going to look at is ada so let's have a look at ada guys Again, another coin i think i took a couple of losses on ada guys again i'm completely transparent uh, trading if anyone tells you they win all their trades they're lying and they're up they're after your money um i took a trade in ada here because i thought you know it could be a one two three four five kind of move i thought it, it would definitely bounce off here um saw some volume spike and i was 
kind of hoping maybe I should that's not part of my strategy the way I trade crypto is slightly different to how, how I trade Forex when I trade Forex I'm very vigilant very you know strict to my strategy with crypto I do kind of move around a bit which I shouldn't really because uh, I love crypto crypto is, is crazy it's changed my life and I'm, I'm sure hopefully it can change some of your lives as well but you have to put in the work and you cannot just buy coins or give people online people money who say give me two uh, ethereum I'll, I'll give you five uh, again i'm not it's just a dumb thing to do and, and i'm sorry for the guy who fell for it in the group but please do not believe someone that say give me one ethereum i'll give you 10 back a random guy you know i've been posting uh, uh, hopefully i've built some trust i've been posting videos for a year and even in the bear market a lot of people in the bear market stopped posting videos and just went offline now they're coming back i've been posting videos throughout the bull market and the bear market so it, Ada guys, this was a zone I took a loss in. I hit my stop loss when it went below this uh, daily moving average. Now it's trying to see it bounce up. So this is the zone. This is would be the do or die zone for me uh, for for Ada. I don't think it will go below this. So entries around that level. I haven't entered it, uh, but entries around that level should hold. But if you can see that it struggles to get above and it, it, the price action is really weak, I would exit. But I do not think it would break below there that's just my thoughts guys but i have been disappointed with ada maybe i'll make a video about ada price prediction and talk about some of the disappointments for for ada but if it breaks below maybe that level could hold but yeah i don't think it will break below there let's hope that it can hold and it can move above air uh, and push higher that's my thoughts on ada guys but again if you like this project as as a longer term project then you can hold uh, but it depends on you what you think uh, you're an investor that it's going to hold for a few years or if you like this coin it's completely up to you but i do like ada uh, i do find what they're trying to do very very interesting so it's up to you whether you're investing or trading at the moment i'm not looking to trade it there was few smaller time frame reversal opportunities that you could have take like this kind of double bottom and when it broke above there that would have been a nice little trade for me if I was trading it I would have probably stopped at the red zone because that would be would have been a big resistance but yeah there's opportunities if you're looking to trade it but if longer term trading those are the levels that I'm looking at so that's my update on ADA guys the next coin is BAT so guys bat is a coin that i do do really like and i have traded it today as well bat is on my list i believe where is bat there we go bat so <clears throat> So BAT, I took a small scalp trade, guys. You can see nice price consolidation, and then it broke out. It gave you another little consolidation, then it broke out again. And um, again, it wasn't the best of trades, but it was a nice little trade. So this was the zone I was looking at, guys. Now, it, that's why I take profit, because not all my trades go up. So you can see, similar to the Bitcoin chart, isn't it, where it just went up and then it broke out unfortunately it couldn't carry on and is pulling back so it's not going to make me that much money this trade but i took this trade and um you have to you win some you lose some the ones that you lose you need to make sure you don't lose as much um, i think i made a small profit on this one but it could still carry on going higher i mean it's a coin that i like i'm actually i think i still own some bat because i do really enjoy this coin you can see when i bought it i think bat i traded this beautifully when i met, talked about this biggest breakout uh, in bat because the chart was looking so so bullish uh, it was a really really nice trade so it, it's at a zone where you could probably expect it to bounce so let's have a look guys I mean I think it should have another bounce here so if you're owning BAT as an investment I wouldn't look to sell it at the moment I do like BAT as a as an investment I do like I think I made a video about top three coins to buy and um, I talked about BAT in detail it's a coin that I really like on the shorter time frame guys you can see it's in a downward trend guys maybe it's a five ways down but you can see some rsi divergence guys uh, which is always you know when you see this and you see a double bottom it's a it's a could be if it's, if, if it's your strategy so price is making a lower low rsi is making a higher high you can buy that so and then target that that would have been a nice little trade i didn't see it otherwise I could have taken that that would have been a nice little trade if you did take it so that's one of my another strategies that I use maybe I'll make a video about it um, I'm gonna I'm not sure how to I'm 
I'm trying to plan. Let me know, guys, how you want me to give you the most value. Do you want me to create a website or, you know, create something? Some people said, if do I have a course where I talk about my strategies? I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll just release it on YouTube, but I'll have a think about it, how I can organize and give you the most value. But yeah, BAT, I do like it. Let's see how it does. Um, if you want longer term investments, guys, I'd, I'd like to see it break above this zone. Uh, then I'd look to add more but if it can't get above this zone and hold I wouldn't look to buy you know make big investments in bat Um I like I own bat because I do like this coin fundamentally but that's just my thoughts guys again this is not financial advice I'm just sharing with you my thoughts so bat is the next one then the one after bat is matic so matic or matic I'm not sure how you pronounce it I think it's called matic so that is the next suggestion so this is the list I'm going through guys so at the moment I'm at matic uh, it's a lot to go through I need to hurry up so let's have a look at matic guys what is matic doing I don't have it on my list I haven't uh, traded it as much I would have liked to have got in this trade because it was really really it was performing very very well wow look at that chart look at that chart that would have been a nice trade high increasing volume break above wow that would have been a nice trade <laughs> anyways you win some you lose some you can't catch them all so but uh, it's near its all-time highs so two things can happen here so if you look at previous chart with link I mean I'll probably look if you buy if it gets above it I might look to buy some um, and holds above it. it might be an interesting trade but it is at a very very high level we've seen it in quite a few coins where they come to their pre highs and then they break down below so let's have a look if it holds this moving averages and break above I might look to add some I don't know too much about this coin I mean I think few uh, someone called Simo or someone he posted uh, information about this coin so if you are interested in Matic I mean do your research fundamentally it could be a good coin to buy I think few people there's another guy I can't remember his name now um, John I think he messaged me about Matic fundamentally apparently it's a good coin I've not had a chance to have a look at it I will look at it um, but yeah from a trading point of view if it holds its moving averages and breaks above could be a good entry but wait for the RSI it's quite oversold um, to, when it when things come to new highs uh, we see this happen a lot of times and it goes down but if it if it holds above um, let me delete that if it holds here and goes up and does this this could be a nice little entry for you so let's see how how Matic performs those are kind of two of my thoughts on Matic but I mean I when some I mean, as a trader I can't ask someone to buy something when it's up 300 percent that is that's not that's a bit silly so I mean I can't recommend that I mean it's not financial advice anyway just my thoughts I don't think people should be buying something when it goes up that much so the next coin is link let's have a look at link I'm trying to push through it I didn't want to make this video longer than half an hour so let's have a look at link guys again link is another beautiful coin we saw what happened it came to these highs and it dropped broke down I mean just a quick it's all price it's just guys it's technical analysis it's just looking at price history and finding edges that you see that keeps happening I use Elliott waves Fibonacci and everything to give me a little bit of an edge but you don't need anything you just need you know see what happened before and try to predict uh, it was a nice little trade guys I did take uh, tra tra took this trade it's in my watch list and then um, I, I sold it too early I think I sold it at this red zone because I thought it wouldn't go up higher I might look to get in again because it's just it's been on fire guys this coin so I might look to buy Matic again and that would have been a really nice entry a nice double bottom entry at support zone that would have been a nice entry um, but yeah I missed it but chain link is looking beautiful guys um, at, again at the moment when something goes up 30 40 percent I can't recommend you to buy it wait for the pullback you know then you can look to get in because there is some resistance at the moment you, this would have been the zone to buy if you had, didn't get in there you know buying things at highs is very risky so I'm in chain link already I've given you some tips on some of the other coins that you can look at you know one of the coins is not I mean I'm going through the members request from the group coins I mean Ravencoin is a coin that I like at the moment um, I'm looking to I'm already in it 
I look to trade a bit more Raven coin. So I'm going through the list for you guys again. On the you could look in the hourly guys when it, if you see this breakout with high volume like this, you know we saw high volume increase there. Then boom, you had a 16% increase. If we see something similar, still still above the moving averages. So it could be there could be more opportunities in links. So do keep an eye out, eye out for it. It's a coin that I like as well. So next coin is Bitcoin Cash. Let's have a look at what Bitcoin Cash is doing, guys. BCH. I I actually trade this coin, but I don't like to keep it in my list because fundamentally I do not like this coin at all. I, I'm a massive Bitcoin fan. I do not like Bitcoin. I, I, I might have added actually. I'm not sure if I did add it. So actually, I traded Bitcoin Cash on against USD value. Yeah, this is the chart. So Bitcoin Cash, you your entry should have been here. I got in here. This would have been a nice little entry. It was very, very bullish. I think I posted it in the group saying it's the most beautiful chart I've seen on Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash was really beautiful. I'll show you why I exited there. It was a 618 level, guys. Boom. So that was a nice little trade, guys. I'm sharing with you my trades as well. Again, yeah, I don't. I, I usually do it with my mentors, the students that I work with, but I don't like. But I'm giving. I'm, I'm. I'm in a generous mood today. I'm sharing with you my trading tips. So that was my trade. Oops, not sure what happened there. A two to one risk to reward. A beautiful little trade that I took, and it was really nice. Again, I don't like Bitcoin Cash uh, from a fundamental point of view so i'm not owning any of it but you can see it's above the daily moving averages it's formed nice consolidation zone here and i took the breakout as you should and it was a nice trade increase in volume just above the moving averages breakout of this trend line breakout of the sideways everything aligned and it was a beautiful little trade so bitcoin cash um, at the moment guys it is finding some support you can see previous resistance turned into support uh, let's see if it can hold if it holds here again does gives you a setup like this and breaks out with high volume look to buy it or if it drops further enough then you can buy at this zone as well i think 250 to this zone would could be a potential zone for you to if you if you like this coin this could be a zone for you to look to buy for longer term holds again do not buy things that's just gone up massively because people might be dumping it on you so that's my thoughts on bitcoin cash which one is the next coin let's have a look link link has been asked twice people must love link <laughs> so uh, someone asked for chain link then there's four guys asked for link as well so yeah link seems to be a popular coin ethereum guys i'm still waiting on ethereum i'm i'm, I'm getting tired of keep saying that I'm, I'm waiting on ethereum i'm waiting on ethereum by the way guys iota is, is a is a is one coin that i'm already in a trade on binance let me have a look how that's performing oh that's not done as well should have taken some profit and that's why I can't make as much videos guys because you know I was looking it broke out on the five minute you can see it was a nice breakout but well, I didn't take my take much profit I took half off here from here and I was gonna exit it but it's gonna it's come back to where I bought um, come back to where I exited that's why I can't make as many as much videos because I'm also trading anyways guys it is what it is you can win some you can't win them all that was just a bit bonus so yeah next one is ethereum i uh, got a bit off track so ethereum has done something similar you can see ethereum has done something similar so ethereum is looking good guys i'm still waiting for it to break out because it's not broken out as much as um uh, litecoin and as much as bitcoin this was a nice little breakout zone i took this trade when it broke hard the best resistance are horizontal resistances they're the best best resistance in crypto this this uh, trend line seem to work as well but not as much uh, in forex I predominantly use resistance and which is sideways 
horizontal resistance they work the best in crypto trend lines seem to work as well but always keep in mind the horizontal levels when it broke above this level this would have been a nice entry for you so i'd like to see it above this i don't want it to come below that uh, as long as it stays above this i'll be happy with ethereum i'm still in ethereum um but yeah it's it, it was a nice trade guys i've been i was waiting on ethereum i think people thanked me when it broke out i've been waiting on ethereum for ages and this breakout was quite nice to see so at the moment for where i'm seeing ethereum is you can see a big bearish potential reversal but you see how people bought the dip so there's a lot of money still outside looking to buy you know that was a big buying the dip and it was bought quite quickly i'd assume so you need to keep that in mind guys you know there are people on the outside waiting to buy uh buy this coin so do keep in mind it's holding the moving average just about it might have another leg down just because of the price action and volume decline as you can see when it broke down high volume when it's trying to increase not much volume so it can pull down but we've seen in bitcoin before where it just drops once and goes so let's have a look how it happens if you can take the breakout with high volume of this and uh, this zone and then see if it carries on for a trade if you do like ethereum so that's ethereum next one is v chain guys let's have a look at v chain vet btc let's have a look i've not looked at this chart at all so when something's below this zone i don't like i mean i'm not that's not my kind of strategy i know a few people can trade the reversal uh, you can see nice volume i think few people took that trade feature is an interesting coin i do like it uh, fundamentally but i would not have bought it because it's below this let's see if it can break above it if it can get above this line uh, and still has good volume you can see rsi was so low that would have been a good potential buy actually if I was looking at it, I didn't buy it. But I mean, what I'd wait for it is this line that I've drawn. If it gets above this line and it starts breaking out higher, then I might look to trade it. I talked about trend lines that I do not like, but you know, this trend line might be working as well. Is it this one or this one? Or is it breaking out of this trend line potentially? Or oh, struggling here? Yeah, so that is my thoughts, quick thoughts on VeChain, guys. If it breaks above there, I'd look to enter. What's the Fibonacci saying? must be the 382 level I think yeah he's stuck at the 382 level yeah that's my thoughts quick thoughts on VeChain guys uh, that's VeChain now let's have a look at CELR I think I have looked at this coin and I I must say I do kind of like this coin guys I'm not gonna lie uh, it's not broken out as much so if it does break out um, I would be interested in this and it's so it's so broken down Yeah, I think I was I was hoping for it to hold this level. Yeah, I did have a look at this. I didn't buy it at the end. But if it breaks out, I would look to buy it, guys. Because it matic, I think there were similarities between this and matic. So if it does break out like it did there before, I would look to enter, guys. Yep, yeah, potentially it's above all the moving av the key moving averages. Nice volume coming in yeah whoever suggested that this could be a potential one to keep an eye out for for a breakout so i'm rushing a bit guys but it's a lot of coins uh, i'm tired i've got a friend visiting me it's 2 30 a.m in the uk so i'm rushing it a bit hopefully you guys don't mind btt guys it's a coin that i traded i didn't actually make much money off it. i missed the whole pump i took some trades here i think i posted it uh, made videos about BTT you can go and check but wow that's a very very big candle very very nice candle I like that candle but I was looking yeah this is a zone that I had a Fibonacci level on I was hoping for it to bounce but yeah I mean it's looking good actually it's not looking too bad if you're in this um, but do take profit these sort of coins you've seen it pumps and it, it it doesn't go anywhere so let's see if it can stay above this line I'm going to draw this box for you Let's see if it can hold this, let the moving average catch up and see if it can move up again. It's not too bad actually. Yeah, if it can hold this zone guys, I'll be in. 
and if you have bull tech guys you want, might want to take some profits you can see it's previous resistance here so that's my thoughts on BTT I mean I don't know fundamentally are there's if uh, there's any news coming that's what I want to do for um I want to do a live one so you guys can see kind of what's going on so we can have a better discussion around it rather than me uh, because there's people that know some know about some coins maybe more than me so I would actually do it live maybe next week so I can have a discussion with you guys but yeah it's looking okay guys if there's news coming again buy the rumor sell the news you know how it is with Tron and BitTorrent I made a lot of money uh, doing that with Tron mainnet launch and uh, you can easily get some quick money on that last coin of the day guys the last coin of the day is QLC. Let's have a look at QLC. I know nothing about this coin. I don't think I've ever. Shit, I have looked at this coin. Sorry for swearing. The I've I've looked at. I mean, I've spent sometimes 10, 12, 16 hours a day in looking at charts, forex and crypto, and I don't even know some of the charts I look at. So that is something I do not want to see. When it gets above. Okay, this is just simple price action. When something gets above this zone, this big, big zone you can see with nice volume. So this is something like Bitcoin, right? It broke out of that maybe 6,000, 4,000 4, big zone. And now you want it to hold and see some upward price movement. So if Bitcoin, like I said, if Bitcoin, I'll, I'll review Bitcoin at the end of this video. But if Bitcoin does something like this, I won't be happy. And when it gets below this, it's like a ceiling or a floor when it when it gets below it it struggles to move up so yeah it's not looking as good my friends um i don't know whoever if you're in this guys it's your uh you could have traded the reversal again rsi look at the how where rsi is like in the 20s so you could have played it nicely for a, a reversal but unless it gets above this line i wouldn't like it and i don't like the fact that it broke out and it couldn't stay above so i mean i did look at it strange that i looked at this coin so that's just my update guys i'm going to quickly review bitcoin see what bitcoin is doing bitcoin is seeing a bit of a nice jump it's breaking out right i'm gonna have to get out guys i'll look to trade this yeah talk to us since the start of this video nice breakout guys could have easily taken this trade uh, breakout but this is where I entered my Bitcoin, guys. I've not been stopped out yet, so I'm already in this. I, I got in around uh, this zone, got into some profit. I'm still in this trade, so let's see how it does. Anyways, I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a long video. I think it's over 40 minutes. I talked about the news. I talked about my the market sentiment, and I looked at, I think, almost all the coins. So this video should be up now. I'm going to go back and start trading again, see what my IOTA is doing. If Bitcoin is going up, my IOTA might not be doing as well. Yep, it's not. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have enjoyed it, you know what to do, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Turn on the notification button, guys. That helps me out a lot. If you want to be in with a chance of winning some Litecoin for my next giveaway, guys, turn on the notification button. And email me below if you want to learn, get some mentoring on how I trade. Uh, I do a free Skype call initially. And then if you're interested, if you can work together, we can t do a calls on you know Fibonacci Elliott waves or something simple as support and resistance I've got a couple of students that are completely basic um, and they're doing well and then some are very experienced there's one guy that I, I, I don't think I should call him a mentor we trade together and he's he's really good and uh, yeah, he's been a good student or we could say a colleague anyways guys if you're interested in that you can email me below at crypto rock at hotmail.com and um let me know how you want me to grow this channel. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about having a website or maybe create another channel or, you know, uh, maybe do a signals group or create a better group where I don't just let anyone in. People have to, you know, people that are seriously interested in trading, uh, create another special group because there are a lot of scammers in that group. But do join that group. It's a great group. There's some very, very knowledgeable people there. And I'm posting there every day uh, my thoughts on uh my trading what am i trading today i try to pose there every day or every two days so you can see what i'm trading and we're building a very good community and i'll be doing this live next week and i'll post make a post on request of what coins you like next week again so if you want to request any coins join the group by clicking the link below and you can request what coins you like
subscribe for the next review so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and it's again it's all free guys all you can do to help me out is the least you can do is turn on the notification button smash the like button and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family thank you very much guys have a great weekend and i'll see you guys soon uh, next week with some more great videos thank you very much and have a great weekend thank you go bitcoin